We're so lucky in Brookline because we have a community that cares so much about education. Our donors are so generous and they know the importance of good teaching. And when teachers are excited about what they're doing, then the students get excited about learning. So now the person who is at the board, who owns the board, share what you guys have come up with. Aubrey Love came to us for an Idea Lab grant to have his engineering students create devices for special needs clientele. I think this project is wonderful. I think it's a representation of what this class is all about. This whole unit is about us empathizing and starting with like observing the world of somebody else and getting in there and looking for design opportunities. So right now, our students have come up with a hypothetical user, and I told them, imagine you've sat with this person for a week, then say, how might we help this person do this? It's really hard to design for a problem that you're not interested in. It could be just a theme that you're bringing. The whole process is centered around trying to put yourself in the shoes of the client. They might come from a different background. They might be just a different age than you, so they have like a different experience with technology. It's nothing like our past projects where he told us to make something and design it. We actually have to do a lot of research to learn a lot more about other people. The Brookline Education Foundation sparks eye-opening experiences. The grant that I applied to like independently was a teacher grant. I got to go to Snow Farm, which is out in Western Massachusetts, and they had a retreat specifically for art educators. And the workshop that I participated in was a mosaic workshop, specifically about different types of mosaics found all over the world, and they're really kind of a global art found in a bunch of different cultures. And then I took my knowledge from that and brought it back to Lincoln and we worked on a series of collaborative mosaics to kind of reunify really from being hybrid and separated during a lot of COVID to work on something together and rebuild our community. I've always used music in my teaching. Music is a way to connect. It's so beneficial for literacy development, language, vocabulary, rhyming, fluency, math. We did a unit where I was able to teach four and five-year-olds about photosynthesis through the use of song and music. I play multiple instruments, and I bring those instruments into the class to accompany their singing. And I thought, if there was a way that I could get stringed instruments into their hands, they could participate in that music making. The BEF accepted my grant proposal, and I was able to purchase 12 ukuleles, and we have done lessons now on the ukulele. It's all very exciting. We've been getting more and more grants that focus on social emotional learning, supporting equity, being outdoors more, and general health and well-being. BEF was so great to fund these outdoor learning garden grants. First getting money to develop the beds, the garden, and then have curriculum that ties into every grade level. We collaborated with the cafeteria and all the little kids harvested their own lettuce and they serve their community. We do a garden party at the end of the year. It's amazing. The BEF is a real feather in Brookline's cap when it comes Well, I think it really has to do with supporting education in Brookline by supporting the teachers and the educators. You're really donating to the students of Brookline. How is this affecting my teaching? How is this affecting my units? How is this affecting my students? Teachers love working with children. And the more opportunities we can bring to our children, the more enriching their experience and our experience can be. One of my students wrote, being able to be part of something bigger than myself makes me feel like I'm not too young to accomplish goals and I can actually make a difference. That Many years ago, when kids went to school, they would sit at their desks while their teachers would stand at the front of the room, write on the blackboard and lecture. Education isn't like that anymore. The best teachers are the ones who have kids standing up and working in groups and making things and using their imaginations and seeing the connections between different subjects and one another. The teachers who get grants from the Brookline Education Foundation are at the front lines of making it happen and it's so exciting to be a part of that.